All we need is the Lord. Amen. Bendiciones and bendiciones. All we need is the Lord. Hallelujah. You know what? I love y'all guys. I love this song. Amen. It's just a blessing unto our heart. Amen. The how God just does the work over and in our lives. Amen. Damos gozo al Señor y este por todo el amor y todo la embrazo que que Dios nos da dentro de nuestras vidas. You know, it's something else to know that you know you may feel like you're being hit on every side. But God, but God, amen. And that's what I'm saying, but God, when God is on our side, man, church, right? I mean, don't, don't shout me down already. It's too early. Okay. You know, but God, and even though you may feel like you're being hit up on, on every side, no, God is there. God is so merciful and he is so grace, gracious, you know, that he's going to take you to the other side and help us to deliver us, to take us over and know that, you know what, his name, his name will be uplifted. You know, he wants to lead us. He wants to guide us. He wants us to, to turn our ear unto him. He wants to rescue us. You know, the word talks about him being our rock. And he is our refuge. Amen. He's a God that rescues. And he knows how to save. He knows how to deliver. He knows how to bring us out. But also he wants us to trust him. To trust in the Lord. You know, a lot of times we lean on our own understanding. We lean on, on what we think that is righteous in ourselves versus what God is saying that he is the righteousness. Amen. He is the giver of this goodness, of this right way of living that we've gone through. And you know, God has not forgotten you. You know, we go day by day. Walk by walk, talk by talk. And you can say, you know, okay, well, what about this day? You know, what am I going to do this day? What do I need to do this day? God is our refuge. Amen. He is our protector. He is our goodness. And he has your days as well ordained. In his hands. Why? Because he cares for us. Amen. He shows us. Where he is. I mean he's got so much good. Stored up. I want you to get a revelation of that. You know because there is provision. In your storehouses. And even your storehouse. Spiritually. In every aspect and area, right? You know, there is a storehouse. And your storehouse is filled, filled, filled. With the blessings. With righteousness. Amen. God is not here to put you to shame. God is not here to put you down. But to let your light so to shine, to let your face be shineful again, not shy and to be full of shyness, no, but to shine, S-H-I-N-E. God has forgiven us, he's washed us, he's cleansed us. With that precious blood. Thank you Jesus. That we don't have to leer and pass for regrets. And so we see how God's goodness 
works and in as well in our lives. Amen. We rejoice. We rejoice because the joy of the Lord is our strength. You know, in the middle of afflictions, in the middle of battles, you know, sometimes people give a reflection of where they are in their lives. You know, I fought the good fight and I'm running the race. So when do I win, right? Every day that we choose Jesus Christ, I was going to say Cristo, (laughs) which is Christ. We're winning, church. We're winning. You may physically not be uh, doing something, you know, literally beating the devil on the head. With the broomstick, right? But what I'm saying is our actions, our actions. Our actions, yes, shall speak louder than the words, but he's showing us as well too, you know, that he has this in control. And he reminds us with such beauty, with such awesomeness, You know, that even his own creation hears his voice, knows his voice. It's created by his voice that it's so wonderful. How can creation itself respond to the voice of God? So why not us as human beings rejoice and the power and in the working of the Holy Spirit over and in our lives. You know why, church? Because He loves us ever, ever so much. He is, <clears throat> excuse me there, the blessing giver. And He knows. He knows where we're at. He knows where to find us. It's not saying, Bicky Boo, or, you know, come and find me. Look where I'm at. You know. No, he sees. He's an all-seeing God, and he knows. He knows where you're at. He sees where you're at. And he knows where's the end of all the matter. Of you could say, well, my own choices brought me to this place, okay? But God can still make it good in the end when we recognize Christ in our lives. He's recognizing, He's knowingly knowing, you know what? There's goodness, there's mercy, there's grace, there's loving kindness. Oh, Jesus. What a love, what a savior, what a redeemer. God is there. Amen. And he is so giving and he is so loving. And he is here, he is there, he's here. And he knows the first and the last. I pray that even with that word right there, to know, to trust, to be glad, to rejoice, that you know what? He saves me out of my affliction. He saves me out of an anguish soul you know he hasn't handed me over to my enemies he's delivered me he set my feet on a spacious place he set me upon a solid rock and he wants me to trust 
The word of God reads, But I trust in you, O Lord. And I say that you are my God. My times are in your hands. I love that. My times are in your hands. Deliver me from my enemies and from those who pursue me. Hallelujah. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me from your unfailing love. Let me not be put to shame, O Lord, for I have cried out to you. And let the wicked be put to shame and lie silent in the grave. Let their lying lips be silence for the pride and the contempt. With the pride and the contempt, they speak ignorantly against the righteous. God is saying, how great is your goodness, which you have stored up for those who fear you. For those who take refuge in you. In the shelter of your presence. You hide them. God is our protection. God knows our ins. And he knows our outs. He loves us church. He loves all the saints. Love the Lord. Love the Lord. The Lord preserves the faithful. But the proud he pays back in full. The word of God says, be strong. Be strong. Take heart. All of you who hope in the Lord. You know, God has a message over and in our life today. Every day, God's word is constant. God's word is ever so present in our time of need. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to share. I've been sharing there out of the book of Psalms. Chapter 31. But I want to share a word that God shared with me here this morning. They're out of the book of Isaiah and chapter 48. The word of the Lord reads, listen to me, O Jacob. Israel, whom I have called, I am he. I am he, I am he, I am he, the one who we call out, the one who we seek, the one whom we love, the one who speaks to us in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the night. God is saying, I am he. And he, through the word of God, saying, I am the first, and I am the last see church we may know and come to know a lot of things in between just like how we tell other people you know what just read in between the lines just read in between the lines so we can come to the very beginning and we can come to the very end And God is still speaking to us, not only in between the lines. He doesn't make it such a mysterious that we don't know what's going on, but he's telling us to trust him. If he knows the very beginning of everything, Should he not know the very ending of everything? And if he knows every ending of everything, does he not know the very beginning of everything? That is sweetness to the heart and to the soul. To know that we serve a God 
that he says that I am the first and I am the last. And check this out, church. My own hand laid the foundations of the earth and my right hand spread out the heavens. I had summoned them and they all stand up together. To me, that is telling me that God has this. We may see destruction. We may hear of destruction. We may know a destruction. But that is a plan of the enemy to come to steal, kill, and destroy. But God says even in all those areas, we can say those areas of lack, God still says that I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. And not only is God the same yesterday, today, and forever, He is the first and He is the very last. And just like Christ won from the first, Christ has already won that of our future, that of our last. He's an all-knowing God. And He knows that which is to come. And He awares us to let us know of these times when they are to come. He said the heavens in its place and He summons them. Is God creating this havoc, this chaos? No, church. The world itself, the wears and tears of the world itself. Can some be initiated? Yes, it can. It could. There's possibilities. But ultimately, man cannot control earthly matters, even as much as they would want to. But be wise, but be careful, but be alerted and know that the God of heaven that can bring forth earth can as well take it away. Are you sure, Sister Tina? I'm sure. Because the word of God speaks that heaven, if heaven can pass away, check this out, church. If heaven can pass away, how much more this earthly realm we're talking about heavenly realm and earthly realm. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word, the word of God, will never pass away. To me, that is so for sure that I can take it to the bank. And know that when I go to the bank, that I'm going to find that silver, that I'm going to find that gold, that I'm going to find whatever I need. Because it's not by might, and it's not by power, but it's by my Holy Spirit says the Lord. My own hand, God says, laid the foundations 
of the earth. Of the earth. And he says, And my right hand spread out the heavens, and I summoned them. In other words, he has called them. When you summon somebody, you know what? You better show up. When you're summoned, you got to show up. And it says here, they all stand up together. Heaven and earth and even that that is which to come, they all stand up together. God has his hand over the foundations. Not only over the foundations of all the world and all of its iniquity as well, but also over our lives. That's how awesome our God is. So I want you to lay hold of this today. If you have to hear it again, hear it again. Let God settle this in your heart. That he is the first and the last. He is the beginning and the end. And he has laid hold of the foundations of the world. God is the God. Of our yesterday, today, and forever. And Jesus' mighty name, church, I want you to be ever so blessed and highly favored and know that your life is in God's hands. I also like to share with you a small note there that if all possible, if you can subscribe me uh, there on your YouTube. And that way, when I do live on YouTube, that you will be alerted, just like those that are alerted through Facebook. Um, so that way, the recordings will be able to be accessible in, in your hands and those all around the world. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for listening to these podcasts. I pray that... They have been a blessing unto your lives. I've seen that over maybe 600 already listeners um, are hearing these uh, programs that are going forward. Amen. This ministry reaching and touching lives. And I believe in multiplication. And I know that through God's word, because it is God's word, that we are making an impact. And I say we because you are a part of what we are doing here. And it's God's creation. And I believe what he ordained from the beginning, because he is the first, that he will ordain it in the end. He is the first and he is the last. So God bless you, church. Have a day of victory. And knowing that Jesus is Lord. And be bold and be strong. Take it. Receive it. And walk in it today. In Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Amen.
myself. Can't use me. I kid myself.